The world has so many needs. Medical care, disaster relief, providing refuge, and climate change abatement. These needs are just the beginning of our story. The story of how CAF America became the United States leader in cross-border giving. When the Charities Aid Foundation developed a strategy for increasing global philanthropy, it looked to the United States and its great donor tradition. In 1992, CAF America was born. CAF America's first 10 years was proof positive. CAF America filled a need that no other stateside nonprofit could, making impactful, compliant, cross-border grants from America to the world. CAF America's bold vision matured at first slowly and carefully, then exponentially. Word spread as CAF America entered its second decade just after 9-11, a decade soon to be marked by a dramatic increase in laws and regulations designed to prevent money laundering and eliminate support of terrorist activities. CAF America served an important role in clarifying exactly how to comply with these new rules. CAF America's reputation grew as it became an expert in navigating the increasingly complex waters of international giving, while continuing to change the philanthropic landscape. In 2000, an individual wanted to give money to several charities in Scotland. It was the first opportunity we had to work with a donor who came to us to help him identify organizations for support. And at the time, CAF America's receipts, contributions receipts were probably annually eight or nine million dollars. And he came to us with more than a million dollars. In 2010, CAF America's board of directors made what would become a pivotal decision. So the board decided that we needed a real experienced CEO and a CEO that could understand how to get money from the U.S. to places overseas, and that's what led to the hiring of Ted Hart. I was on the hiring committee uh, that, interviewed, uh, that interviewed Ted, and I can tell you that Ted has not disappointed us in that respect. He has grown the organization tremendously. CAF America has always preserved the stories that have defined giving and building on our successes. In the beginning of our book, Cross-Border Giving, A Legal and Practical Guide, we tell this story of a terrific donor who passed away. And before she did, she saw to it that she created a fund at CAF America. And in that fund, um, she put a good amount of money. What she said was, do good things for the people of Voditsa, Bulgaria, and educate the children. And we've been doing that. CAF America is now completing its third decade. CAF America in the last 10 years has grown dramatically because its people have taken the time to understand the needs of those communities that our, exhort, our organization exists to serve. I believe it was about this time two years ago, 2019, when we hit $100 million in contributions, and that was really exciting. It was three figures, it was a big deal. Um, for so many years, you know, it had been two figures or one. In 1999, CAF America founded our subsidiary, the CAF American Donor Fund, and in 2014, founded CAF Canada, officially creating the CAF America Group. In 2021, CAF America Group donations reached $635 million, nearly a 50% increase over the previous year. And now, in 2022, Donations are expected to surpass $700 million for the 120 countries CAF America supports annually. Yet CAF America Group's real story is measured in outcomes, not dollars. In its 30-year history, CAF America's donors have made it possible to educate children in remote villages around the world, rescue and treat people surviving disasters, supply jobs, and make it possible for people in often desperate conditions to change their lives for the better. The work has required teamwork and collaboration, continuing education, team building, and the way everyone at CAF America helps each other build on their abilities to better help those in need. Today, the CAF America Group has offices in Washington, D.C., New York, San Francisco, Miami, Vancouver, Toronto, and London. 
seeing the great work that Cap America does around the world, all of the different grantees that they're able to support, all the different donors that they're able to assist in making donations and grants across the world. It's just a great environment to be a part of. Over the years, CAF America Group has been named among the best nonprofits to work for in the USA. CAF America has also created partnerships with countries all over the world, while offering education and thought leadership to the philanthropic sector. CAF America has inspired a generation, if not two generations of donors across the corporate and private space to be bolder and more innovative in their grant making by giving directly to charities based outside the United States. Every donor has a different approach to their philanthropy and just like they have different ideas about what's best for their finances, they have different ideas about what kind of impact they want their, their donations to make. And so part of our job is to translate that, that unique approach from each donor to through our services to what that means for the charities on the ground. I think CAF America has grown gracefully by keeping in contact with the employees the CEO and everyone is in touch with the many layers of employees that exist. And by keeping a flat organization, we look to employees for feedback and we build up solutions to problems before they start. One of the most challenging times has been during COVID-19, which added complexity to already stressful environments around the world. With the advent of COVID, CAF America pulled hundreds of charitable organizations around the world to provide a window onto how the pandemic has shaped the global charity sector. The result has been a series of online reports and webinars that have both informed donor responses to COVID and have shifted the ways that donors work with their charity partners. Now, as the humanitarian crisis in Ukraine intensifies, so does the need to educate donors who want to help. Our website includes updates on the rapidly evolving sanctions as well as where donors' money is most needed. With the situation in Ukraine, CAF is out there providing details of the organizations that can support the, the population there. So CAF is there, it's very responsive, and it brings its expertise to bear very quickly to where it needs to be. I think when crises happen, no matter where, you can't help but be impacted emotionally by them. In a way, we have the privilege of being able to help at those times, and not many people can. Being part of CAF America, it's good for the soul, actually, because when that time happens, we can put all hands to the pump and, you know, you feel a real sense of, of purpose around that. CAF really opens uh, the range of possibilities and uh, allows donors to give more impactfully, more directly, in more targeted ways. And that increases fulfillment for the donors. CAF America is a unique place to work just because of the people that they hire. They bring in such a range of people with a range of backgrounds. We have people that work not even just in the country. Some of my coworkers live in Serbia and Spain and Wales. It's a very supportive environment, but you can tell how dedicated each and every person is to what they're doing there. So one of actually the most rewarding projects um, for me was actually when I was first at CAF America right after undergrad. We traveled all the way to Hong Kong and did our first charity round table, sitting with a lot of local Hong Kong charities on the ground. And for me, just being so fresh out of undergrad, it was was an immense opportunity traveling over there and meeting these charities, hearing their stories. The most unique thing is that we are a voice for our charity partners and help them out in any way that we can, step by step if need be. And I feel like that's what makes it unique from other organizations. It's one of the most collaborative environments I think you could ever be a part of. I feel like everything I do matters. My opinion matters. We take every dollar as important and through that, our board is really enabling us to support civil society from a grassroots level and not just focus on the easy grants or the ones that carry the least risk. We do not shy away from, from the challenging situations. And so, CAF America moves into its fourth decade. We do so with more global challenges than ever before. And yet, with the same commitment and passion for the three R's. Expertly managed risk navigating regulations, and protecting the reputations of our donor clients and the charities they support. As ever, we'll connect worthy causes with outstanding donors as we continue to help our donors make the world a better place. 
Thank you for joining us this evening. Each and every one of you has given us the strength to change even more lives for the better.